and just seeing how different areas of the world work mm -hmm. and seeing how people yeah. can stay I mean, positive. Everybody, everywhere is not like here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. And like they're so positive every day. They're like, yes. so, that's one thing I took away was like, okay, they are so happy with like so much less. Like why can't everyone just be like that? And they're so, they're so happy and they get things done. You know, they don't show yeah. up at nine o'clock and they're a minute late. It's, you know, they're not going to get like <laughs> beat with a stick. So okay, I'll tell you a story about a friend of mine. So she's gone from employee to entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. As an employee, she was late all the time. And because, you know, she's a busy person, has lots of things to do. Now that she runs her own business, when she she's actually become a lot better with time. Mm -hmm. And so now she has an intern working for her. And if that intern is like five minutes late, she says she's it bugs her. Oh I, I totally get it. I'm totally as long as like yeah, it's more like task oriented, so it's not like time oriented, but well no, so she so I told her you have to let that go. Yeah. You have to let that go because that's that's it exactly. It's task oriented, right? Yeah. It's not just you can have somebody who comes in like at eight thirty, but they just sit there, they're just not really engaged with what they're doing. And they leave at 5.30, but what have they actually done? And like they come, I like that's the last thing I want for people to, that work with me. It's, yeah. I don't want you to hate coming in and I don't want you to like be excited about leaving. Like I want to create an environment <laughs> where you want to come there. So yeah, if that's not an office ideally for you, then I'm not going to make you come anywhere. You know, if like you right. work where you want to work from and yeah. put all of your passion and energy into it and don't get yeah. stressed about traffic and because I don't want to like hinder their productivity. Sure, sure. No, absolutely. Like, um, uh, it's this, uh, I guess at one o'clock today, I had an interview with a gentleman who has a software company where they survey employees uh, once to twice a month. Mm -hmm. And because companies are showing an interest in their employees because they want their feedback, they find that it helps to improve like morale, uh, certain behavior. And just like just the kind of the general well-being and stuff. I mean, you can't solve all problems with that, but you can certainly make things a lot. When you ask people, you know, what the problem is and you show an interest that you want to solve them, it makes a like a world of difference mm -hmm. versus just saying, okay, it's nine o'clock, are you here? Okay, it's five o'clock, you know, you save the day. It just, you know, we spend yeah. about 60 hours a week, whatever, working. And um, so it should be an experience that is, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it should be an experience that's somewhat uh, pleasant, or you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's so. That, I mean, that's one of the things. I guess one of the reasons. I guess why I have these conversations is to you know just find out what people are doing to kind of make their workplace experience better.